YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Moose back again with another video today, man. Now, as you can see from the title, we have yet another haul video, an inventory haul video. We got about 20 pairs right here that we're gonna go through, and I'm gonna show you guys what I paid, what I'm selling it for, and everything that I did buy. Before we do get into this video, man, make sure you do hit the subscribe button for me, hit the like button. I've been busting out tons of content. We've been growing like crazy. We just hit 15,000 on the way to 16,000 subscribers, so I really appreciate all you guys that hit the subscribe button. Also, one more thing before we do start this video, I did start a group with a friend of mine where we help out beginner sneaker resellers. Some legit checks, price checks, deal checks. We give steals and deals to members only. We're there for any resale advice that you need. You can ask any resale related question. We'll answer that for you. We do a supreme giveaway at the end of the month and a lot more release info and stuff like that. So if you are interested, we're actually doing signups right now. We're almost full on spots. So definitely hit us up. If you want to become a sneaker reseller, man, or if you're just starting out at 206.track, it's on the screen right here. You can check it out. DM us if you want in, just say, I want in. If you're payment ready, it's $25 a month and you can join in, man. So definitely check that out and let's get right into this haul. So for all of these pairs right here, I think it's about 20 pairs total. I did pay $2,700 shipped. That comes out to $135 a pair um, if you want to divide it that way evenly. Um, so let's check out everything that we did buy and let's get right into it. First up, we have a size 11 Jordan 3 and we got a pair of Deadstock Flyknit 3s. This is, the, this is the first time I've had these in hand. This is definitely a dope one for sure. Um, I thought I thought these would be a lot lighter, but they're actually pretty heavy. But anyways, these are going for about like 200 ish, 180, 200, something like that. Um, I'm not too sure on the price yet. That's about what I'll price it for. Um, but anyways, next up we have a pair of size eight and a half Jordan fours, and we got a pair of the winterized Jordan fours. This one again, size eight and a half, lightly worn. Um, nothing too crazy on that guy. I think that one's probably worth about 140, 130 bucks. Um, so pretty much break even on that guy. And one thing that I always talk about in my videos like this, when I'm buying collections, I might lose a little money on some pairs or break even on some pairs if I divide it evenly, um, because some of them are worth way more and I'll make a lot more money on it. You guys will see that throughout this haul of you know what's worth more and what's not. Uh, next up we have another Jordan 4 in a size nine and a half, and we got a pair of Oreos. This one's really, really clean. I'll probably price these around like 180, um, and that should sell pretty quick for me. Jordan 4s do really, really well. Next pair we got here is a size nine Jordan 9 retro, and we have the charcoal nine this one's actually really dope i love this one it's one of my favorite older nine releases um i do really like the olive green pair as well but this is one of my favorites uh, but nonetheless that one's a size nine that will go for like 150 bucks nothing too crazy on that guy next up we have a size eight and a half jordan seven and we got another pair of the barcelona knights i've had a lot of these come in recently um and they've all been selling so i'm not gonna complain at all um, a lot of this like random Jordan stuff sells really, really well for me um, in that, you know, $150 to $200 uh, ballpark. It's usually what I'm able to push it for, so, you know, it sells really fast for me, and, and I, that's why I don't bother buying any of this at all. Next up, we have a size 5 acronym Presto. This is kind of a dope one. These are going for like $230, $220, something like that. And this one is dead stock, a base size, size 5, so if you are interested in these for your girl, definitely hit me up at Moose Track Shop on Instagram, and they'll probably be on my website by the time I post this video at MooseTrackShop.com, so definitely check that out. Next up here, we have a pair of the, the Jordan 3 Lab 5s. This is in the elephant print colorway. Um, again, this one's like really lightly worn, super, super clean overall, and this one was a size, this one was a size 11, so if you're interested in these, definitely check them out, man. These are pushing like 200 around that ballpark, maybe like 180 to 200, um, so nothing crazy. That's the first time I ever had those in hand, actually, and I actually really, really like those. So let me know what you guys think of that pair down below. I'm really curious. It's kind of a random one, uh, but it's pretty dope. Next up, we have another Jordan 3 box, and we have a pair of Fire Red 3s. This one also is really, really clean overall. There's just a little bit of creasing, a little bit of dirty bottom. Um, Overall, really, really good condition and a great colorway. Something that, again, will sell just super fast. As you can see with most of the stuff, it's stuff that just is gonna move really easily. It's colorways that are very desired. It's good shoes, good models, all that stuff, as well as good sizes. Sizes 10 and a half through 11 do really well for me. Uh, so that's a good one. Next up, we have a size nine Jordan six, and we have another Another one that I really, really like is the Jordan 6 Sport Blue. But nonetheless, this one is lightly worn, just a little bit of dirty bottoms. The uppers are pretty much flawless on this pair. Um, but yeah, super clean, man. Size 9, Jordan 6, Sport Blues. Um, let's go with one of these now. We got, a, we got a Yeezy box. This is a size 8, and it is the Sesame's. Again, most as most of the stuff is lightly worn, um, just a little bit of dirty. 
just a little bit of dirty soles, nothing too crazy, um, but the upper is again pretty much flawless. But another really good easy and another colorway that does really, really well. Um, it sells really quick, very desired, and people love this one. Next up we have a size 8 and we have the, this is a dope one, the Jordan 6 DMPs. Hopefully you can see that with the, with the lighting. Um, this one is dead stock size 8, this is the newer release. They're pretty much pushing like retail, like 225, 230, something like that. Um, but I can't complain because a size 8 dead stock will sell really quick and I'll make a couple bucks on it. Next up we have a good old fashioned Concord box. Give me a second to open this guy here. Take me a minute. And we got a worn pair of Concords. Uppers are pretty clean overall, not too bad. Um, bottoms are a little bit yellow though. That's pretty much the only real flaw on them. Besides that, uppers are really, really clean. If you're someone that doesn't really care about the bottoms of your shoes, definitely this pair will definitely be for you. Should be up for a pretty good price, um, especially with you know the condition of the heels, not too much creasing, and the uppers overall. So definitely check that one out if you are interested, man. That one was a size eight and a half as well, OGL. Next up, we have another Yeezy box here. This one's a size, size nine on this guy. We have a pair of blue tints. This one's a size nine, lightly worn. Uh, let's see if I can the boost there pretty clean overall not too bad again with most heezies uppers are pretty much flawless it's just the soles with a little bit of dirty bottoms um, but another good one blue tints somehow just sell super super well for me i actually had a pair kit come in last week that you saw in last week's video and that one already sold so we got another one here um, but yeah not too bad on that guy next up we have a size eight and a half jordan five and this one was the stealth fives another older release a little bit of yellow bottoms but the uppers are pretty dang clean overall I really want them to retro this pair just because I really, really love that colorway. That gray is just so dope in my opinion. We got about four pairs left here. We have a size, what size is that? Another size nine. This one is, oh, box fell. Uh, another size nine, Jordan 6 reflective. This one might be kind of crazy on the screen. I'm not too sure. Uh, just because it is reflective. This one's dead stock and these are pushing like 220 something like that And it's so funny because I got these for retail when they first dropped these in the sevens And they were pushing like way under retail. They were going for like 120 maybe a hundred bucks for some of them uh, But yeah, they're going for like 220 now and I'm gonna thank the documentary for that one um, Just because the price spike on those. It's probably one of my favorites in this buyout We have a size eight and a half Jordan 7 year of the rabbits this one's really, really sick with the gold laces, the gold touches on it. I love this one. So it's pretty much a hair seven, but with the gold. And this is just such a dope hair. It comes with a really dope box as well. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, but yeah, size eight and a half. Again, this one's super, super clean. Pretty much passes new besides a little bit of dirty soles. Besides that, like uppers, insoles are fully intact. Uppers are super clean. We'll definitely look out for those as well. Getting into the last two here, another couple good ones. Um, we have a size nine. We have the Jordan 6 green Gatorades, another super, super underrated shoe in my opinion. Um, I think this should be like 400 plus, but it's not. Um, it's such a dope shoe. Green suede is just so dope on these. There's not that many green Jordans out there in general, so when you get a shoe like this, it's just such a dope one. Getting into the final pair here, we have a size 10, and this is a really, really good one. A pair of Spider-Man Jordan 1s. Again, lightly worn, a little bit of dirty soles, but the uppers are pretty much, but the uppers are really, really, really clean on these guys. Nonetheless, a Jordan 1 Spider-Man is pushing good, good numbers. DS is like 650 in this size, so I'm probably going to push these for around like 450, 500, something around there. Um, you'll see them on my website and on my Instagram at Moves Shop. But that was it for this buyout, man. Again, this one was 2700 so let me know what you guys think about this video down below. If you guys thought this was a good buyout, if you guys wouldn't have bought it, if you would have bought it. Also, let me know the deals that you guys have been finding down below. I'm curious to see what kind of steals and deals that you guys are finding with all that being said man make sure you check out our group at 206.tracks we are starting signups for this next month as well as hit the subscribe button man hit the like button and until next time it's been your boy moose we out peace